What's up guys, how are you today? I hope you're doing great and here we go again a new week and a new video every week, every Monday. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Today we are going to do beautiful face frame and we're going to do some long layers, blend them together, create tons of texture and create lots of those wispy and many different techniques, uh, slicing techniques and we will learn uh, twisting techniques. There's a lots of stuff I'm gonna do today. So here you see, uh, I just section very easy, very simple four sections, two sections on the side, one on the top, on the parture ridge. And here we go. How are we gonna start? We are going to start on the top and we are going to create the frame face today from the left side to the right and as you see i'm going to start cutting diagonal keep your elevation like 45 degrees out straight out from the scalp and don't drop your elevation down or up just keep uh, let the comb direct you very uh, important to uh, keep your consistency and let the comb bleed the section don't drop your elevation so what I'm gonna do, this is my guideline. Now every section I'm gonna take, I'm gonna push it uh, to my guideline. As you see, so I'm gonna over direct it. I'm gonna push it away from me to the guideline. And this is how I'm gonna create uh, short to long. So as you see now, this is my second section. I'm pushing it to, away from me to my guideline. And this is uh, how I'm gonna cut the whole uh, top uh, section and I'm gonna keep my um, elevation as I said the same and then drop it and uh, cut diagonal so yes that's it guys and you will have a great 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 result this is my last section and you see how I'm over directing to the left side so here we go we've done the top how well we're going to start to cut the side as you see i took uh one section from the top and now all the side i'm gonna take it straight up diagonal the same way so my guideline is gonna be the side as you see guys and i'm going to cut the same things method the same method i'm going to cut diagonal so um, it's very very important when you take sections just don't take big sections keep your sections like I usually take half inch or one inch it depends on the cut or the style whatever I'm doing but just make sure your section is very clean and don't take uh, big sections now I'm moving to the left side the same things I'm gonna take my guideline from the top I'm gonna take on the partridge ridge I'm gonna take the section on the partridge ridge and this is gonna be my guideline as you see here guys and uh, the side I'm gonna cut it the same way I did on um, the right side but make sure that when you texture the hair you don't remove so much weight on the side why because the side is the light side and you have the heavy side and the light side so don't cut don't remove weight the same way you do on the right side because here's the light side and you don't want uh, texture so much and you make it very light so just be aware about uh, this point so this is the weak side so after I finish as you see now the texture starts showing the face frame starts showing what I'm gonna do on the back side I'm gonna cut it from the occipital bone lower I'm not gonna cut I'm just gonna fix the perimeter in the end that's it but I'm not gonna cut so I'm just doing this guys for you uh, I'm sectioning usually I don't section that way but I'm just uh, show you an uh, easy way just to put uh, this head away so it doesn't mix with the top I will take my guideline from the top and what I'm going to do uh, I will start elevate all the way up as you see like a concave layers guys and I uh, now I see my guideline and I cut all the way up so what I'm doing uh, I'm doing point cutting techniques so to blend the hair so now I create my guideline in the center every section after that I'm gonna take from the side I'm gonna push it to the center as you see so right and left they're gonna meet each other in the center so I take my second section here on the side and as you see I'm pushing away for me the hair and I'm cutting it in the center elevate all the way up and I cut so just keep in mind consistency very very important and let your comb 
uh, direct sell don't try to push the hair way way up or drop your elevation down and then you find out you are losing balance and then you have to go back and fix it again and it's gonna take you forever especially when you work on salon and salon like you know very tight on schedule and you don't want be late on your next client just keep this in mind so as you see now i start cut the right side and i'm doing the same things i'm pushing everything uh, to the center and i'm elevating all the way up with concave layers and i'm cutting with point cutting technique now i'm done let's go and start blow out the hair and do flat iron so now we are going to do uh, the blowout i sprayed uh, as you see uh, heat protection it's very very important guys when uh, you add any heat to the hair just put heat protection on the hair so you protect the hair and you don't cause any damage because you know the heat always damages the hair so we do our best to not damage the hair so now after i did the blowout and uh, uh, I sprayed again heat protection, you know, because I'm gonna add more heat, the flat iron, and then I start flat iron. I take small section when I do flat iron because I want to get this great result in the end. So just take your time, section right, small section, and go for it, guys, and get this great, great result. So uh, what else I wanna tell you, just, um, yeah, as I always say, be creative and uh, I always say this in every video, learn from everybody, I always learn and uh, keep on education, you never say, oh yeah, I'm good enough, not in this industry, you will never be good enough. So now I start uh, do point cutting technique, as you see, to blend the end and create those beautiful textures, those wispy ends around the face, um, to add the more, um, you know, sexiness to the, to the personality. And I just love those wispy ends because they are so beautiful. So when you do point cutting technique, that's cut the same way you cut the hair, because you don't want to and you know uh, take sections not like the same way when you were cutting hair why because you don't want to change the shape of the hair so always when you do dry cut do the same way you did it on the wet part because you don't want to change the haircut so as you see now i'm working on my perimeter i'm just i cut a little bit just i fixed it and it looks uh, makes it looks nicer now i'm doing slicing technique yes to create this beautiful texture and make the perimeter lighter and full of movement yes full of life and energy and now it's summertime so we have to do that so and now i'm doing twisting technique just to create more effect around the face as you see with twisting technique you have to be very careful you have to be um, in control you know how to control your shear when you do it so you have to practice make sure uh, you are 100% good in it so before you do it on real client uh, I put some products on the hair now I'm styling it uh, guys look at this absolutely gorgeous and uh, what I'm gonna do here is a flat iron. I'm just gonna do this little twist on the fringe area and just to give it a, like a little bit spicy effect and make her look amazing. Like I am. Um, okay, I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, so here we go. Just to spray the hair and look at this. Just gorgeous. Have a great day and see you next week in a new video. Ciao for now, guys.